Hey everyone, it's uh, Tuesday and I uh, just wanted to uh, touch base with you all and uh, say hi. So as you're tuning in now, uh, I'll give you a second to find me and uh, a few of you are finding the video. It's, uh, it's great to have you guys here. Kevin is the first on. Fabulous. It's, um, it's great to speak to you. What a mad, mad time. Unprecedented in history, uh, in peacetime and something that is affecting all of us. So I, I just felt the best thing to do was to reach out to you all. Um, firstly, to just, yeah, thinking of you all, what a, what a mad, mad experience that we're going through daily, hourly, half hourly. The news is impacting our lives in the most dramatic way possible. And as some of you are now self-isolating for potentially months, it's, uh, it's a surreal experience to, to know what is happening to the entire world. <laughs> a virus, COVID-19, coronavirus COVID-19 has taken the world, it is attacking, and uh, it is a weird, weird thing. Because as yet, many of us don't even know those who've uh, contracted the virus. We may know people that are showing symptoms. And those people are quite rightly now self-isolating for either um, a week or two weeks in the case of families. We're all washing our hands religiously. That soap and, uh, and sanitizer is going crazy. But unfortunately, the reality of all of this is that our industry, like many, many others out there, is being deeply affected. Jai and I were due to be out on tour May and June of this year with our Ansel's Lay Musicals tour. We had a great, great time last year. We saw so many of you out there. We had an absolute blast. So much so that we were thrilled to be able to schedule a tour once again the year after and take the show out on the road. Governmental advice and uh, our leader Boris Johnson let yesterday announced that it was uh, unwise for for people to converge in groups. Therefore, theatres have been advised to discontinue shows and hosting audiences due to the close proximity of audience goers and the potential for people to pass on COVID-19. So it's with seriously deep regret that I inform you now that our May, June Ansel's Lay Musicals tour is postponed. We're looking to reschedule it and fingers crossed we get uh, the ability to reschedule it and take the show out to you guys once again next year. Uh, but unfortunately for this year, we won't be taking to the stage to sing you those big songs. The West End and Broadway hits that we so love and adore to share on stage with you. But as I say, unprecedented times and what's most important is everybody's safety in society. And we care deeply for every single one of you, just in the same way I care for my wife and, and two children, my mum. <laughs> Hugely at risk. Wow. Many people out there in vulnerable groups. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> people need to stay safe. People need to quarantine themselves if they're high risk. People need to do the right thing and protect all of those around you. Wow. Last weekend, mum and dad came up and we had the best time. Mum's birthday just before the weekend, my birthday, 38. We spent so much quality time together. We even went out to restaurants, <laughs> the cinema, all sorts of things which now we're advised not to do. Traditional things in society that we took for granted. Precious time with people we took for granted. But it's changed. 
and we've got to be safe, we've got to be careful, we've got to look after each other. As I say, so many industries have been affected and uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be different for so many of us for potentially quite some time. The government's thankfully offering all sorts of support packages and hopefully there are things there which will enable people to continue with a level of normality in sustaining the lives that we've become accustomed to with a property, with mortgages, with rent, whatever you guys have out there, the government has promised they will help. And this huge investment in tours like this, and there's unfortunately now huge losses that have been incurred with this tragic news. However, the most important thing is everyone's health, everyone's safety, and just urge all of you, hygiene, hygiene, wash your hands. I'm not going to be repetitive like you all know, but please do that. Another thing, now that we've been asked for over 70s in particular, for you guys out there to be self-isolating, please, like our grandchildren, um, the grandchildren, sorry, my children are not now embracing Wendy, their grandma, because it's unsafe. They're keeping a distance. She just got back from a holiday, actually. Thankfully, managed to fly back with Tui. Um, and uh, it's great to have her back. But we can't now embrace her for a period of time because we want her to stay safe. And um, Steve and Debbie's dad, the same thing. And that's important. And that's something all of us have to do. And um, we're all looking out for each other. Let's reach out. Let's support. If there's people in your community, people nearby, vulnerables in, in your area, people you may never have engaged with, reach out, find out if they need help, if they need shopping, if you can even find it on the shelves. <laughs> I've actually put a, uh, well, where is it? There. Three little toilet rolls, just three. Uh, we have got a pack of 12, but not 300 and whatever. I mean, I've seen some crazy videos, people stockpiling, and it's, um, it's shocking. Those of you that now just want to try and find toilet roll, you can't get it in the shops insane but you know what if there are people that as i say you've never spoken to reach out speak to them and uh, and see if it is possible to help uh the tour as i say may june lay musicals we're hoping to reschedule the most important thing please can i make this clear any of you that have tickets please do not contact the box offices right now as i say we're hoping to reschedule as you can imagine the box offices are absolutely inundated now with communication, governmental implementations, correspondence from everyone, shows that were due to happen tonight, tomorrow, next week. Um, they're dealing with everything. Please do not reach out, speak to your, um, your venue directly yet. They will get in touch with you in due course, uh, offering you the ability to reschedule to, fingers crossed, our 2021 rescheduled dates. But please, for now, hold off in contacting those box offices we're trying our best to get in touch, reschedule, work things around the other dates. We've already got pencil for that tour. So please, please do not. It's imperative. Do not reach out to those box offices. It is super, super important. Uh, thank you so much. Um, and Jai sends his love. I was just chatting to him today in advance of sharing this news. Um, all of us are just thinking of everybody. It is crazy, crazy times. And the self-isolation kicks in for a lot of us. If you're symptomatic, you're there at home with families for potentially two weeks, trying to have some fun, trying to have things to do to look forward to. Uh, Debbie and I have just been discussing uh, if we can have a lockdown live. Uh, it is a, a concept we've decided to potentially give a go. Uh, it's going to be a chance for us to host our own little uh, live stream show uh, we're going to have some fun, engage with you guys, ask for uh, people to throw in questions, maybe theme different days. At the moment, we're not sure when we're going to host the first one, but please do check it out on uh, on Facebook to, uh, to, to get involved. And, and just to give some light relief in this madness, in this surreal environment that we are now living, uh, where the news is just absolutely pollinated with the very important news advice um, about COVID-19, it is so important as well to have escapism and working in theatre, that is something that we all adore offering. And because we can't do it in theatres and, and unfortunately for a period of time, their doors are shut for everybody in society's safety. Uh, we're going to try and offer that and uh, yeah, watch this space for that. And another thing, I've been speaking really closely now with um, 
with some of the team and we're going to see if we can live stream the show. So if any of you are keen for a, a pay-per-view of the Ansel's Lay Musicals show live streamed to your very living room, uh, you can sit there and, uh, and enjoy the show uh, in comfort, in safety and, uh, and yes, yeah, see something live, see something that we've never done before then please do um, watch this space because that is something we are very fast trying to organise and sort out. So please check that out uh, very soon, the Ansel's Lay Musicals page for more details and hopefully we'll be able to bring that all together. Um, my thoughts are with the whole team uh, for the, the Lay Musical show. They're an incredible team. They're hand-picked, cherry-picked individuals that I absolutely adore. That's why I invite them to get involved year after year with, with that show, with the G4 Tours. And it's it's such tragic news to say that a huge body of work, 35 shows, is uh, is postponed for this year. Um, as I say, it's hitting people very, very hard. I've got a lot of friends and colleagues who work in this industry who are reaching out and, and, and saying they really haven't got any work for a huge prolonged period of time. And my thought goes out to every single one of you as well. This is unprecedented time this is a scary time this is a surreal time in so many industries and I think in entertainment uh, we've been we've been hit pretty damn hard however we know that the audiences are still there and wanting to be entertained and if you do see other people offering live streaming of different shows I know there's a company today just announced they're going to be hosting West End artists in a, in a cafe in London Please check that out. It's super important to see that uh, and, and get involved. And, and by getting involved, some of these services will be a pay-per-view. But by giving whatever amount that that is, you're helping to support the industry, keep those individuals uh, going. Because, I mean, a lot of people in West End, in musicals, uh, however incredible their talent is, uh, through a lot of people's career, you have sidelines. And many people who work in West End shows, potentially even leading stars of those shows, between contracts, they fill their time and generate their income working in hospitality. Hospitality is also deeply struggling at this time due to COVID-19, coronavirus, and there's no jobs there. Uh, other people painting, decorating, other industries where you're entering people's homes were advised not to do that. Decimated. And I know so many of you too are going through weird times. You're working from home. You've been recently made redundant. There's huge companies, Carphone Warehouse announced today a huge number of jobs and stores are closing. So it's all important. And the most important thing is people's health, their safety, their security through that network of support. And the internet, I think more than ever, is going to be there for people um, and enable you to just feel like there is support out there. When they say self-isolate, I think, and I'm not speaking from a medical perspective, it's definitely clear that that is not stay in your house, sit in your lounge, look at those four walls and feel depressed, alone and frustrated. What it is, is not having direct contact with people. As I mentioned before, grandchildren uh, and other children in the community are certainly very, very fortunate that this virus doesn't seem to affect them in, in the most tragic way. And, and statistics show that most children should be absolutely fine. However, they carry, they hold the virus and they can easily pass it on. And however conscientious we as parents are, you guys as parents are, uh, however much their hands have been washed to a crisp until they're virtually falling off, they can still transmit that virus, even if they're not even showing symptoms. But please do keep them at arm's length. Please don't engage with them closely, directly, because that is the best thing that you can do to remain safe and, uh, and keep yourself away from this. It's, um, it's really exciting to have other shows, though, in the pipeline. So as I mentioned, Ansel's Lay Musicals postponed for this year. Check out next year. Fingers crossed we can get all of those dates rescheduled into next year's tour. But September, we are out G4 Live. It's going to be amazing. Duncan Lewis, Mike and I will be hitting the road. 
We're taking this show right up and down. So if you've missed this live show, you can see that show and you can enjoy all of our wonderful harmonies together. And I, for one, am certainly going to relish the opportunity to stand and tread those boards because I'm going to be so frustrated. I've missed the chance to get out for all of these shows. So check that out. Christmas tour as well, G4 Christmas. It's uh, the most extensive tour yet. So uh, yeah, definitely check out all of those dates. Um, also excited, um, the White Proms uh, in the Isle of Wight. Uh, it's actually hosted by my colleague in G4, Mike Christie. Uh, it's a huge success, amazing, gorgeous place to host a show. Their musical theatre tonight is Ansel's Lane Musicals, Live Under the Stars. So uh, the tickets aren't on sale for that yet, but watch this space. And uh, fingers crossed, if nothing um, gets in the way and uh, things don't continue, then we're able to, uh, to make that happen and share this show with you. But as I say, some uh, hopeful live streaming of it as well. But yeah, just... Wanted to say hi. I'm now going to attempt to read some of the things you're kindly saying. I can see it scrolling up through the page um, and, and see that Angela's saying she's booked for September and uh, December. Looking forward to seeing us and looking forward to seeing you. Um, is Hartley Paul uh, with G4 affected? I can't remember when that is. And um, Nathan's actually been messaging me on WhatsApp and they appear at the top. Is Hartley Paul affected, Nathan, reaching out to you? He will tell me now and I can say um, hi. I will say hi to Jai Marion, definitely. Um, uh, loads of shows you're coming to see. Somebody, I'm just trying to look. Uh, where are we? Ah, oh, my uh, my sister's new fiance, Kenton, has just messaged, but it looks like my sister's message. So uh, let's give a congratulations to my sister, Jenny. Um, because she has recently become engaged to fabulous Kenton, and uh, they are on here. So uh, yeah, nice to uh, nice to have you saying hi and to see that message. Nathan has messaged me with WhatsApp. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, unfortunately, Hartley Paul with G4 has been affected. So um, please check out the G4 official page for any updates and information about that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, hey from Dorset. How are you, Zoe? Um, it's lovely to see all these messages. I just wish I could see some of them even clearer. Here's the congratulations coming in for Jenny. Let's offer a round of applause, Jenny and Kenton. Woo! 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 It's, um, it's exciting news to, uh, to hear that she's, uh, engaged, my little sister. How sweet. No, she's, uh, she's a wonderful girl and, uh, she's finally met, found the man of her dreams, which is super exciting. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's sad news and it's uh, a shocking time. However, as I say, the community of the internet is going to be invaluable and looking forward to sharing more with you through live streaming and, as I say, potentially getting the show out there as well with Jai. So uh, certainly watch this space for that. But um, Lockdown Live, if any of you are interested, then please do uh, holler under this with uh, ideas and things you'd like to see happen. We'd like to do silly, silly things. Let's have fun. Let's do funny games. Let's do call-ins. Let's do quizzes. Let's arts and crafts with the kids. Fun things that we can all get involved with. Sienna is cracking at making pop-up cards. Any of you out there unable to make a pop-up card, I reckon we are going to share that with you here. Uh, Dexter might be able to... Uh, share a little bit of the behind the scenes knowledge as playing uh, Lucas Taylor on the Emmerdale set. Uh, it was fun to be with him today, chaperoning Dexter in, uh, in, um, in Emmerdale and, uh, and doing all of that. I'm sure he would love to come on camera and, uh, and say hi. So look, watch this space. There's gonna be some interaction in ways that um, you've maybe not seen before. My dad's on here, hey dad. Um, it's, uh, going to be fun and really looking forward to it. Uh, people are saying they want to hear, hear Lockdown Live, they want to get involved with that. Uh, and yeah, looking forward to sharing more, as I say. The sad news is uh, Les Musicals, May, June this year is postponed. Uh, as I say, and as I mentioned before, if some of you have tuned in a bit later, uh, due to COVID-19 and uh, governmental advice, Due to the proximity of uh, patrons in theatres, it is unsafe for people to be in those kind of environments. So therefore, 
uh, we are postponing all of those dates. Please, please, please cannot make this clearer. Please do not reach out to the venues right now. They are inundated with uh, all sorts of correspondence right now and they are dealing with so, so much. Please don't reach out to them yet. As I say, we're hoping to schedule, postpone these dates. You can re, um, reschedule your tickets and move them across to those in due course. Uh, so please do that. Um, but yeah, stay safe, wash your hands, keep sanitized, keep those grandchildren at bay and uh, look forward to reaching out to you guys very soon. As I say, uh, social media and the internet is going to be all of our best friends, I think, over the next few months and engaging with you guys more frequently through that, I think is going to be really, really exciting. So um, yeah, keep keep tuned and see what's going on. And yeah, just stay safe, stay safe guys. And um, yeah, internet, WhatsApp, FaceTime, everything, do it, engage, direct contact, keep people at bay, keep safe, keep COVID-19 at bay. Let's keep these numbers uh, from rising exponentially and uh, keep those loved ones in contact. Love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you all for your understanding. And uh, yeah, just love and care. Peace. Thank you so much. Look after yourselves. Take care. Bye.